It's nice and comfortable. It's one of those bags where when you've got it on, you kind of find yourself hugging it without realizing that you're hugging it. What's going on, Lug Nuts? Welcome back to Lug Nut TV with Jesse G, a channel for Lug Nuts all about the brand Lug. I've never done a video on this bag, so we're here to remedy that. First things first, this is the slider with the Samba. Very similar in size. Feet, no feet. Neither of them have the side cargo pockets, but the Samba has a full built-in wallet and it comes with two straps. This is the shoulder strap. It also comes with a longer crossbody strap that is adjustable. And with the slider, you also get the adjustable crossbody strap. No shoulder strap. I've got a couple of videos on the Samba already if you wanna go ahead and check out the interior and its features a little bit more in depth. That built-in wallet does come in handy because these bags don't have huge capacity. Being able to say, you know what, I don't need to carry a wallet today. Utilizing this pocket as your wallet really helps free up a lot of space. This pocket having a gusset also means that when you put a wallet in here, if you don't want to use the built-in wallet, it's not taking up as much room inside of the bag's main interior. The slider doesn't have as much of a gusset with its front pockets. You have to keep things a bit slim in the slider in order to really get the most out of this bag. So that's just a quick side-by-side. -side. So let's take an up-close look at the slider. Here is the strap that can be adjusted and you can remove the strap by removing it. This bag is really full. I wanted you guys to be able to see the bag completely stuffed so you can appreciate that this bag does have a good amount of depth even though it is a smaller bag. In the front lower pocket, I've got a portable phone charger. In the next pocket back, I have a size six pull up. In the cell phone pocket, I've actually put my sunglasses in here. On the back of the bag, I have a petite planner and two pens. Now I know sometimes with a few of Lug's bags, the pen slots can cut it kind of close to that zipper. Not all brands of pens will fit in these pen slots. This brand is Ink Joy, and I'm able to get that zipper closed with those pens in there, no problem. Main interior. There is a large clear view pocket in here, but the only thing I've put inside is a bulky bottle of hand lotion. I've also got an Eco Shopper and an umbrella. In one of the back cargo pockets, I have a large cosmetic mirror. And when I say large, I mean, this thing is huge. It is big, but that will fit in that back pocket. In the other cargo pocket, I've got the handspring. I have it attached to the key bungee sitting inside of that back pocket. So with this bag, if I can't fit a wallet in the front pocket or I just don't wanna put that there, that's usually my solution is just putting one inside the main interior, whether it be a small one in the cargo pocket or a large wallet like the kickflip right inside the main interior, not in any pocket at all. Now that the bag is empty, we can really appreciate its features, you can see that the bag does have a lot of depth. It's easy to see inside of this bag. The clear view pocket is enormous. It actually goes all the way down to the bottom seam of the bag. There was no wasted space with this clear view pocket. Now let's talk about the pockets that actually share a little bit of space. That's gonna be your cell phone pocket, your upper front zip pocket here, and your clear view pocket inside. So what we're just gonna do is rearrange a few things and make some decisions. I normally would not keep bulky sunglasses in the cell phone pocket, so I don't mind putting my sunglasses in one of the back cargo pockets. Those sunglasses are bulkier than my phone with its case. So I'm already freeing up a little bit of room by just doing that. Now I've got room inside my clear view pocket and I have a little bit of space in this front pocket. If I wanna put a wallet here, my favorite wallet to use with this bag in general is the tram. It fits really nicely in this pocket and it just so happens to have the same quilting. So that pleases me. I can fit the splits XL in that pocket as well, which I think is pretty impressive. But a wallet that large is gonna be one of those that's kind of taken up space in the main interior of the bag now. So that's what I mean by actually thinking about it and making decisions. Definitely don't hesitate to use this bag if you're going to put your large items in its main interior. It has a lot of depth. So so you're bringing wipes, diapers, a book that day. You can still fit your wallet on the outside. You can still fit a slim notebook on the outside, your cell phone. The last time I used this bag, I 
went to Olive Garden with two of my kids and I brought wipes because we all, well, we were messy and even messier when we eat spaghetti. So I had my phone, my keys, a couple of cosmetics, wipes, phone, did I say phone? Anyway, I kept it simple and I kept it light. And that's my favorite way to use this bag. It feels nice, it looks really nice. I love the heathered material. I really love that that was chosen for this bag because that little bit of extra texture kind of makes the bag feel a little cozy, which might be a really strange word to describe a bag, but I'm going with cozy. That's going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the slider in the comments. Let others know what you're thinking as well so that they can make a decision about whether or not they need this bag in their collection. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Thanks so much for watching and like always, I'll see you guys next time.